as the continuing of the SQL command, we are going to talk about a distinct in a select command. The following example display unique data from a query using the distinct option with a join condition in the where class. So we can join two tables and we can limit the result uh, retrieved records with the where clause. The example display the company or their date and ship on fields. So three fields for only those records, not all records, with unique data in the customer and order tables. It means there is a common field in both tables, customer and orders, and we will going to join these tables on that command keys, and only those records will be appear in this command. The select statement specifies local alias for the tables to distinguish the same field name cost ID in both tables. Okay, we are going to use alias name. Alias is a um, dummy or a temporary name. You can assign a table and instead of the original table, you can use the alias name. And it's not with a permanent on the database, just it valid during the query run. After query running is finished, the alias name will be released from the memory. So select this thing means there is no they want the uh, we want to retrieve the unique data set. We don't like to be have a repeat repetition in a data set. So, T alias one means table name, table name, table one name. We assign here, customer T alias one. T alias one is a dummy name or virtual name for the table customer or T alias 2 is another name for table or there. So I use T alias 1 dot company means company from table T alias 1 comma next field T alias 2 dot order date means order order date from next table comma semicolon means continue the command on the next line t alias 2 dot shipped on so here two fields comes from t alias 2 and one field come from uh, t alias 1 and here t alias 1 is the alias name for customer and T alias 2 is the alias name for the orders table. And with the where, we can uh, add a filter T alias 1 cost ID equal to T alias 2 dot cost ID. Because cost ID is the common key between two tables. So only these records with the common value will appear. Let's go to the command execution. Here in the debug, the cursor pointer is ready and I click this. Another query created. And the company or their date and shipped come. 
and uh, we want to know how many records in the query here in a query you can see 1078 records in joining with this because one company have many orders for example this company have these orders and the next company have another five order the next company for example this company have more than 10 orders and as you see with the distinct uh, command only the unique records will appear no records is repeated here and there is three key for the repetition limitation company order date and ship to these three fields together are unique not only one field is unique so back again to the command select this thing tlios one dot company comma tlios two dot order date and ship on two field from tlios two one field from company from two table table one and table 2 with different names and with where command only the records with the common cost ID will appear for example I want to open the order table here and so the customer order here you can see cost ID and cost ID let's change the orders first here I change the bigger font with font name 14 Tahoma again 14 to Homa. Okay. Here is a table customer. I change the order set order to cost ID because I had index cost ID on this table. So by clicking this cost ID order is active. Here is a arrow key up arrow key appeared is the next of the field next of the table name the next table again set order to cost id again so both tables are order on cost id with control home the pointer goes to the first Uh, first record in order again control home again okay here is the cost ID one cost ID one two three four five six order the next here the next cost ID the next also so if I make a relationship between the order and customer and I choose customer as a parent here I select the customer and set relation to cost ID into orders 
a relation established here and the relation expression is cost ID okay so with clicking to the parent table only the corresponding records in the child table will appear here I move the pointer in the parent table and I will see the corresponding orders in the child table and the right side command right side of a screen as you see and I so I can change only fields as a query for example I want to ship on and order order date and ship on I can change order of the columns you can click on the top of the field and move the mouse to the right so the field the column will move from left to right I move the shipped on field from left and go back to the next order date again I click the order date title and move the mouse from right to left so here cost ID or their date and shipped on I change the arrangement of the columns from the table and I can change the record pointer again to the parent table to see the corresponding records and orders to the right table so the query I want to run the query again and I want to show how this let I close the relation between customer and order first which set relation to with no expression from the parent table because now the customer as the parent table is selected area selected table set relation to will remove the relation between the child and I copy and paste this command again to run the query so you see 1078 records generated on this query and this query is read only as I told before okay go to the next command with no alias name same query with no alias name same query select this thing customer instead of the alias one I wrote the original table name customer.company comma instead of the alias two I wrote orders original table name dot order date orders dot ship on from customer comma order I didn't assign alias name here where customer dot cost id equal to order dot cost id so the same result will appear if i run this command again the next command here same result same result look 1078 records appear again continue with the next command 
Here, the following example organizes results of a query using the order by. Order by will sort the result in the query. I told before, select without order command is not guaranteed the order sequence in the query. But with order, you can choose. For example, I want to make order item. Customer table is ascending order by default. Yes. If you want to choose order as a uh, highest to lowest, you need to put descending D E S C D E S C in order. By default, A S C E means ascending order means from the lowest order to highest order. Descending change from the highest to lower order. Here, select country, field name country, postal code, company from customer. Order by country and postal code and company. Let's next command I want to show only one key as the ordering key. For example, I change the command this type. Select three fields from one table and order by only one key. Country. Here we go. 92 records appear and only by country. Here is the country. Okay, A, B, Brazil, Canada, C, D, Denmark, Finland, and so on. Okay, if the repeated records comes to the first key, you can use the next key for the ordering to the uh, repeated recorders reorder based on the next key. Here is an example. I use the next key postal code again. I use two key for ordering. The, two, the second key means if the first key record is uh, are repeated, you must be order the repeated records by the second key. And the third key means if two combination of keys order uh, repeated, the order records must be reordered on based on the third key and so on here look at the brazil for example all brazil here one two three brazil but all is order all repeated records order by postal code I want to show you an example like here. Here in France, order by country and postal code, but there are two repeated records based on a country and postal code. Maybe two or more. And if I included the next key it guarantees the repeated records will order again based on the third key for example company comma 
company France 44,000 France 44,000 D first F next let's looking for another example there is no another example because for the rest of the records postal code is unique so only the order key on the country and postal code is fine but it happened like this Mexico P comes first and T comes next this is the meaning of the order key or composite order keys and the next command is a repetition of the oldest uh, subject I use alias name same T alias 1 company T alias 2 order day T alias 2 ship on from customer with alias name T alias 1 comma next table is orders with alias name t alias 2 where cost id from both tables are the same into the into command direct the cursor or the query to the separate file or separate table file for example here i make a free table name cost ship dot dbf as a free table and i make this table with the records from uh, two tables based on this condition this is a one command the next command browse the same uh, query and I will show you to convert how you can convert the result to the another type of uh, file for example type xls with uh, the command of copy to you can make a same file as the excel sheet I will show you how it happened okay here we go the commands the query commands run but nothing appears because I direct the command into the free table cost ship DBF here a table cost ship created with 1078 uh, records in work area number 8 and with the browse command the table will be browsed here we have a free table how can I detect this is free because when I click on the each table I can see the parent database name here but for free table like query or cost ship no database parent will appear in this part at the next command because the cost ship is current table and with the browse command I show the content of this free table I going to run the copy to command copy to here is the destination folder and file with type xls or type csv or many types the dbms supported you can use so I run this command the copy to run and 
a file let me I show the screen desktop here this file generated I got Excel sheet I'm double click on it you can see here here is the Excel of same data here is a DBF cost ship DBF and here is a Excel cost ship how many records in it you can see 1079 and it shows date with the date format in Excel you can choose or you can set a date format in Visual Fights Pro 2 in any type you want I can show you okay here is a debug window activate and if I use the command set date here is a some example of date the Visual Fights Pro support for example here changed let me show you with the bigger font here if you double click on the right corner and, and the left corner up left corner of the grid table in visual fights pro it automatically resize the columns with the best fit width as you see here okay because these two field name defined as a date field I can use many combination function according to the date fields for example short changed or USA okay I prefer to use in NC mode it means four digit for year two digit for month and two digit for day in the next video we are going to discover many functions in named aggregate functions thank you